Hey guys and welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create like an Adobe effect like uh not Adobe effect, sorry, Adobe After Effects like um neon outline on CapCut PC. It is super simple actually. You're just going to go to effects and you're going to select party. You are then going to find neon outline and you're just going to add it to track. Adjust the intensity a little bit. I'm just going to have it at like 15 ish. And then I am going to add in a filter. If the filter doesn't work like this, you can. Um, let me create compound clip first. So select both of them, right click, create compound clip, and add in the black and white filter. And then once you're done with that, you're going to export it. Select OK and just press Ctrl Z to like undo everything. Delete this. And then import the outline that we just made, which is somewhere here. Add it to your track. Just put it next to it and add like any color that you want. I'm just going to add this pink color. And I'm also going to scale it. And then I'm going to choose a blend mode. I might use color dodge for this one just because it's super bright. Then I'm going to export that. Press OK and you are going to delete. Oh, actually, you have to delete the original video first and then you can export that. Sorry, I forgot about that. Then press Ctrl Z to bring back the original video. Import that one, which is here and add it to track. Okay, I don't know why the first few seconds the pink isn't there, but make sure the overlay is um, like on top of the outline. And then you're going to choose a blend mode for the outline. You can choose screen or brighten. Yes, green or brighten for the outline and as you can see it creates this really cool outline you can also adjust the opacity here a little bit you can also add in keyframes if you'd like I'm going to add in a keyframe here and then I'm going to add another one here so I want the opacity, opacity to be zero here, and on this one, I want it to be 73%. And then you can also kind of like scale it. For instance, I want one here, and then one here. I'm going to scale it up just a little bit. Then maybe like scale it down again. It's up to you really, just play around with it. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section down below and I will try my best to answer them all for you guys. Um, if you think this video was helpful, please click the thanks button above the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!